Today's business notes are brought to you by Community Bank, the better business bank. Hello, I'm Stacy Smith, and in today's business notes, a big move up on Wall Street today with the Dow gaining more than 500 points. One of the reasons investors were in a buying mood today was the latest survey by the private payroll processor ADP. That survey indicates another 2.7 million jobs were lost in the month of May. And while that is not good news for those who lost their jobs, what is good news is that it is much lower than what the analyst had expected. Also putting investors in a buying mood was a survey by the Institute for Supply Management, which indicated the services industry did not contract as much as predicted. The AMC movie theaters could be the next victim of the pandemic. The company indicated it might have to permanently close its doors if it cannot raise enough money to fund operations until the theaters can reopen. AMC told government officials it has enough cash on hand to make it into the summer, but if the theaters cannot open until after the summer, it will need more money. A warning from the Trump administration that it may ban Chinese airlines from flying into the United States in less than two weeks. The issue is that China has yet to approve resumption of United and Delta flights into China. The two U.S. airlines suspended flights in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak in Wuhan. The CEO of the chicken processor Pilgrim's Pride has been indicted on charges of conspiring to fix prices on chicken sold to restaurants and grocery stores. Pilgrim's Pride is the country's second largest chicken processor, and it is part of an antitrust investigation underway by the Justice Department. Again, it was a big day on Wall Street today. Here now are the closing numbers. For the day, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 527 points. The NASDAQ is now within 200 points of its all-time high, which was set just before the pandemic. The NASDAQ was up 74 points today. The S&P 500 posted a gain of 42 points. The recovery on Wall Street is remarkable. Since setting their lows on March the 23rd, the Dow and the NASDAQ are up 41%. The S&P 500 is up nearly 40%. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm Stacy Smith. That's today's Business Notes.